the cities and the county are doing a joint law enforcement appreciation day. Uh, this is in line with National Law Enforcement Appreciation Day. This is going to be Wednesday at 1130 at the historical courthouse. I would encourage all that can attend, please do that so that we can take the opportunity to honor those individuals that not only are the ones that you typically think of in law enforcement, but everyone that may be involved in some line or some order of law enforcement. May it be probation officers, it could be jailers, it could be most anyone that plays a role in making law enforcement um, the agency and the services that it provides for this community. So it's a great opportunity for us to take a moment and acknowledge uh, their work and and uh, take a moment to appreciate them. Also, if you recall, the bird supper date had been changed um, from the original date of January the 30th. We've had to move that to February 13th due to the fact that that was actually Super Bowl week and there was going to just be way too many conflicts. And as a matter of fact, the uh, it's our understanding that um, uh, the House and the Senate, the legislators will not be in session during that entire week. So it was fruitless for us to go up there for the bird supper. So that date has been changed to February the 13th. So again, <coughs> it's a great opportunity to go up there and get in front of not only just our delegation as well, but all members of the um, House and the Senate at the, at, under the Gold Dome. So if you have that opportunity, please uh, try to get that on your calendar. Also, the commissioner's retreat uh, that has been scheduled for February the 7th and the 8th. Commissioners, I would encourage you certainly put that on your calendar. Um, but as well, uh, it's it's time that if you have issues or things that needs to be discussed, we're getting very late into that process now. So I'd like to get any of those ideas as soon as possible so that we will be able to get those to Mr. Pritchard and so that he can then get with the particular staff members that, that your subject matter may cover so that uh, they will be prepared and have the, the information ready for us during that retreat. As you all know, the retreat is a great opportunity for us all, for us to come together as a commission, work on not only our long-term goals, but certainly short-term goals, see where, you know, how successful we have been working on those goals, but as well as things that's come up through the previous year that we've acknowledged that we may need to address, and there are several of them, then it gives us the opportunity to address those. So again, <clears throat> I always look forward to retreat because I just really feel like it's a great opportunity for the commission to come together and, and come up with the ideas and plans and, and, and direction. Certainly staff um, appreciates the ability to be able to sit down with everybody and get direction that they need so that they can help us in our efforts to move Lambs County forward. Also, there is an opportunity from the Development Authority. They're going to uh, have a, uh, a day. I understand it's a, it is in a one-day trip to Atlanta um, as well on January the 30th. Commissioners, you have an opportunity to attend um, that um, that event as well. So, if you would please let Mr. Pritchard know whether that's something you would like to do then uh, he will be able to get back with the development authority and let them know as well. Uh, he needs that decision as, as early as he can possibly get that. Today would be preferable so that he can uh, let them know if, how many that would be willing to make that trip with them. So with that, Chairman, did, yes, sir. the law enforcement gathering is at noon on Wednesday. That is Wednesday at 1130 at the historical courthouse. Okay, thank you. Okay. <clears throat> All right, if there's no other questions, then we'll move on into